Hey everyone, welcome to AQW News. Today I'm here and I'm really excited. There's so many things to discuss here, guys. And first of all, we've got the Evolved Darkcaster class returning. I'm so happy, guys. I've always wanted to use this class and they're making a reworked version. Just the same skills, new art, like they did with the Abyssal Angel uh, Shadow class that was the copy of Abyssal Angel. So, yeah, I'm so happy they're doing this. Um, it was, to me, really unfair that this class just went rare and we could never use it again. And, you know, it kind of makes it unfair like that if you miss an event or something. I know that's the whole point, but they can't really do this with the AQW Mobile anyway. So it's good that they're starting to bring back old stuff because they can't really keep everything rare and all that i'm really excited guys it's going to be available for 2000 acs or legion tokens so stack up those legion tokens if you don't already and i really recommend just joining the legion and farming for legion tokens i have a video to show you how to farm for legion tokens just by joining the legion no pets or anything so that will really help you guys out but yeah this is just so good guys um really good way forward so next we've got Dage and he's got the Legion Paragon Fiend reveal. So as you can see on here it looks like a really nice armor and mount. It'd be really nice if the mount is an animated and the horse doesn't just move across the screen without the legs moving. But I don't think they're going to do that. Um, anyways, we've got some more helms down here. Looks really nice too. Very various amount. <laughs> There's a lot of helms here guys. And then we've got the wings too. Um, I'm not a big fan of wings in general but... Yeah, and then we've got these weapons, guys. I am so happy. These weapons look really nice. And yeah, I can't, I really can't wait, guys. I really hope they put it for Legion tokens, everything, not just ACs. But yeah, they kind of have to because it's all Legion related. So yeah. Next, we've got Yo Lei with this armor over here. So, work in progress. It's the Legion War Seeker. Um, it's really nice, guys. It's supposed to copy one of the nation's items, sort of. I can't remember which one, but yeah, as you can see, it just looks really amazing. Uh, he's been doing a lot of great work. He's also got the Legion Spellcaster set over here. And I think this looks really nice and clean too. So yeah, next we've got the Warseeker Helms. As you can see, there's uh, four different types with horns and without. My personal favorite is this one to the far right. Um, but yeah, these are all the Helms here. And then we've got the Warseeker Capes. So as you can see, there's one that just is to the side. I hope it's... Yes, when you're running. Okay, good. That actually looks like a really nice cape. I'm a big fan of that cape. Um, what I'm not a big fan of is these swords sticking out. But yeah, this is uh, really nice. So next we've got this. You can actually hide animations now in your game. So you can reduce lag. This is a little bit of older news. But this is just to let those people who don't know already... So yeah, if you're getting lag issues, then this is something that will really help. Finally, we've got the Akiban Defender Upgrade Bonus Set, which is now available. Um, this pack is for $10. You can unlock it in your Accounts Manager now. Uh, when you go here, as you can see, they've changed the system to unlock whatever you want for when you buy packages. They give you like options and you can choose whether you want that one or a different one. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I really hope I let you know what's going on. If I did, please leave a like and comment down below what you think about everything. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.